Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Right, I'm up here on this beautiful Sunday morning to answer a question that I had regarding track work and how often do I clean this track um, and what I use. So as you can see there's, this is the biggest saturation of track on the layout because it starts from that corner and it runs all the way around down to St Hilda's Colliery where there's um, the main line and the branch line emerge into this big junction. Now this junction is um, called New Hassle North and the other junction at the other side of the station is New Hassle South and um, yeah, because you can see there's a mass of track work all as far as the eye can see it's all the way down there where the branch line splits off and the main line continues into the tunnels so getting back to the question let's have a look at what I do to clean my track and here is Tony's cleaning kit and this is what I use to clean the track um, the surgical spirit, uh, a track rubber which I very rarely use. I only use this um, after um, I've sprayed or painted the rails um, or if I accidentally spill some glue on and it sticks and I just use that and I very, use, very rarely use it and I only use it very lightly um, because um, Using track rubber, believes it or not, puts some scratches on the top edge. So I very rarely use that. I use a, a lint-free polyester cloth. It's very quite smooth in texture, and that really does lift the grime. As you can see there, <laughs> I've been cleaning um, some track already. And also, to finish off, I use a shimmy leather and which gives it um, because of the residue in the leather I don't know what it does but it leaves a nice sheen on the top of the tracks as you can see there and that's good for your conductivity through your locomotives and the rails so so that's the cleaning kit um, the surgical spirit I use um, on my uh, Backman HO cleaning wagon which I did a video of oh, oh, many years back and that goes on the pad now I only use the HO cleaning wagon for the tunnels hard reach places um, where I can reach quite easily access the track I use the rags and uh, that's all you need this is just for the, the cleaning pad on the HO wagon as we'll see Right, so let me show you how I clean the track. So the first thing I do for track cleaning is I give the, the track a quick hoover. And 
the reason why I give it a quick over because um, there's, there's always particles in the air, dust um, and what have you, so I always give it a quick hoover because you don't know what's falling down in there. And the last thing you want to be doing is picking stuff up and ballast or anything like that and rubbing that into the rail. So a quick hoover uh, is all required. So you grab your, get your two fingers, put the cloth on the two fingers. You notice I've cut the cloth down, let's see, for easy management. And then just rub it quite hard on the rails. Now I've done roughly about a metre and a half section there. No chemicals. And look at that. So I'm moving my fingers along again. To a clean a bit. Now I know I haven't cleaned this part or this section of the track for quite a while. The last time I did this was back in back at the end of last year, I think it was. So as you can see it's getting lighter and lighter. So it takes about three goes and then I'll do the final bit with a piece of chamois leather. Now I can feel that that is getting smoother. I can feel it. There was a lot of resistance when I rubbed the cloth up there the first time round. But now that's getting really smooth. You can actually see the shine on the rails compared to the rail next to it. Let me just zoom in and you can have a look at what I mean. So that one there on the right as I've just done and you can see a shine on it already. And the left hand one is still a little bit on the dull side. Let's take it back to there, right. So I'll just give that one more go. Using the two fingers again. And just get that one last time on that rail. Mm. Yeah, there's virtually nothing on there. That's the two marks there. So now I get the shimmy cloth, which I've cut up roughly about four inches by about two and a half inches across. It's just so you can wrap it around your fingers. And the shimmy leather there should hardly be anything on there at all. And you can feel that that there now is really gripping the rails. And there's hardly anything on there at all. So that there now is ready for running trains. And what I'll do is I'll give it another hoover up afterwards because this cloth has left a little bit on there. But that you can feel that compared to that. That's nice and smooth and that hasn't been cleaned yet. And just by rubbing my fingers on it, you can still see that there's dirt on this left hand side. So that's how I'd clean the tracks that I've got access to. Um, and I'll show you how I clean the tunnels out. But before we clean the tunnels out, I just want to show you again on this left hand side. Now it's, this is a clean bit of cloth as you can see. Hardly any marks on it at all just show you how much dirt comes off this look at that just move my fingers across so I can get another bite on the rails and there, there is there's a lot of resistance on there you can see look at that I've got tram lines going all over the place. So I've just moved my fingers slightly across. This is the third time, so it should be a little bit less on there now. As you can see, it's gone from dark to light to light and virtually nothing, but I'll give it one last go. 
and a clean piece and it don't take long to do and there's virtually nothing on there so now I use a shimmy leather now you'll feel the difference because this really does drag so I'm just taking it a little bit slower this time and you can see the track now gleaming you can see the reflection of the cloth in the track there's still a little bit on there and I'll show you what I mean Right, so as you can see, if you look closely, you can see the reflection of the wagon in the track. Now you know that that is squeaky clean. So if I move that from there to here, which is on the branch line, there's no reflection whatsoever, just shadows. So that's how clean the track comes out. Oh look at that, it's a couple of kids playing in the wagon. Typical. And to finish off, I just hoover up again. And what I do where there's points involved or crossovers, I do one reel at a time and it don't take long to do. Try not to press hard on these rails here. Or if there's a signal in the way. So, and then finally, on this point here, I'll just go over with the, the chamois leather. And that just gives it its sheen. I only found this out by accident using the chamois leather when I ran out of, um, um, of lintel free cloth. And the clear difference between this rail and this rail. This one's got the sheen, this one hasn't. So if I just go over that with the chamois leather, it just puts the sheen into it. I don't know why that works. But there you go. So that's how I get round points and crossovers. Right, so those hard to reach areas, I use this um, Backman HO cleaning wagon. As you can see, it's got a great big pad underneath the tanker here with two sets of bogus which are attached. Um, it's quite weighty, it's got a little bit of weight on it, and as you can see, it's quite filthy and uh, hence why we use the surgical spirit to remove the grime. Um, this has just done the run up to South Shields and um, you can see, look at the grime coming off of there. Um, I, so I use this for the tunnels and South Shields because South Shields has got the third rail as you know and um, using a cloth on that area is not ideal because it catches the third rail so I tend to use this cleaning wagon uh, I did do a video on this so what I'll probably do is I'll leave that uh, in the description below on how to into this video with the uh, cleaning wagon. As you can see, look at that, it's really, really filthy. I don't think it's been cleaned in a while. All right, and on that, it's almost ready to go back on the rails. So I shall set this up and we'll see it running through the tunnels. So if I just flick that over, you can see. Yeah, so that's what, what it is, that's what it looks like. I had to repainted it and added 
the buffers and I changed the couplings on this and I think that's all I did and I added some decals as well so let's just see this running in and out the tunnels Hey look Betty, Tony's finally cleaning his track. That's the first. so that's how much has just come off and uh, it's just using both ends of that q-tip let's just try it again and uh, oh there's still more on there so it's still coming off that pad so the, yes this is an ideal way for getting into those hard reach places like tunnels and especially on the three rail system up at um, South Shields it comes in handy for that as well So I hope that has answered your question. It really does get stuck in there, doesn't it, that grime? Right, so that's ready for the next trip around the layout. And uh, that's what's come off the Q-tip, all that carbon has just sunk to the bottom of this white uh, surgical spirits cap and uh, that's why I use the surgical spirits to remove the carbon off that pad as you can see there's quite a bit in there right and now on for the second part of the question how long does it take for me to clean this layout it takes me up to about four hours, but I normally spread that over uh, a few nights. And uh, I only clean it roughly about twice a year. Um, but if I think there's a little bit of a residue in some places, especially with temperatures um, differing, and I normally clean, um, check to see if it does need cleaning. But uh, normally it's roughly about twice a year. Yes, and uh, I think, as you've seen with the results, the, the lintel-free cloth and the shimmy leather work a treat. And it does bring the track up very nicely. 
so I hope this video has helped in any way um, with regards to cleaning your track so until next time stay safe everybody bye for now bye